Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to answer the question, what is FL Rig? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we get to today's video, I've got to give a shout out to these four gentlemen. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So recently, I ran a poll on the channel and I was curious. I just asked a question, how many of you are using FL Rig on uh, your Raspberry Pi? And I was curious to this because I'm working on some uh, a new script and wanted to kind of work that in uh, to the new script, FL Rig into the new script. Uh, but I was shocked that 27% of the respondents didn't know what FL Rig was. So today we're going to uh, kind of take a look at that and see if we can't help those guys out. Now, real quick before we do that, I want to do a recap of the channel. If you're not interested in this, I'll leave uh, the, the minutes and seconds where you can skip ahead and just get to the FL rig portion. But I did want to take uh, just a couple of minutes for a channel recap of 2019. First of all, guys, thank you. I am absolutely blown away uh, with the number of subscribers and views and, and the content that was consumed in 2019. When I started 2019, uh, this little channel had about 300 subscribers. That's well over 3,000 subscribers today. So 10 times growth on subscribers uh, over the course of the year. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, in in January, I had no patrons. In fact, I didn't even have a Patreon account. Uh, as of right now with this video, there's about 52 patrons over on Patreon. And without those guys, it wouldn't be possible to do a lot of what I'm doing today. Uh, with their financial contributions each month, it allows me to buy new gear, uh, to test with the Raspberry Pi, to, uh, you know, to do the recordings. I've upgraded the audio equipment this year, things like that. So huge shout out to my patrons uh, that do show their support each and every single month. There was over 200,000 views on my channel in 2019, uh, or a little over 13,000 hours of content consumed. Those numbers, uh, for somebody that really didn't have a channel in the beginning of 2019, those numbers are a bit mind-boggling. I'm honestly amazed that you guys want to listen to me that much. But hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching, the thumbs up, the comments. Uh, you know, I, I love scanning through the comments. Uh, I've made some good friends uh, through the YouTube channel, and hopefully we've helped a few people along the way to get their pie up and running uh, with their ham radio setup. The top three videos for the year uh, turned out to be, number one was the Pi Build series that I did. The first video in that uh, was the most watched video of the year. Uh, the second one was a video that I actually did right at the end of 2018, uh, but it came in number two for 2019, and that was the APRS Digipeter video, how to build one of those on a Raspberry Pi. And uh, coming in at number three was uh, getting Winlink running on your Raspberry Pi. So just kind of cool to go back and look and see what you guys enjoyed the most. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about FL Rig for a minute. And let's jump over to the computer so I can kind of give uh, those guys that don't know anything about FL Rig a quick demo. Okay, so this is what FL Rig looks like. And all it is, guys, is it is... A, a way to control your radio from your computer. So if I want to swap frequencies here, I can uh, simply click on that, enter a new frequency, and press return. Now my radio just swapped from 7110 to 7078. Uh, I can also control uh, the modes right here, so I can switch from digital to upper sideband to FM, you know, whatever modes it offers. Uh, and then, of course, you see the S meter. Now, the 857 does not give you a ton of controls in FL Rig, and it'll depend on what rig you have as to how much control you can get 
with FL Rig. And here is a chart uh, that lists all of the supported radios by FL Rig. And guys, I'll leave a link to this web page down in the description below. But if you're running one of these rigs, it is super simple to get FL Rig installed and then configured for your radio. Now, when you first install FL Rig, you'll want to go up to the configure menu and click on setup and then transceiver. And it's totally going to depend on what kind of setup you're running. Are you running cat control uh, for PTT? Are you running Vox for, for PTT? Uh, there, there's a lot of different variables in here. Uh, but I know with the 857 and the signal link, it's a pretty quick and easy setup. Literally, I have to select uh, the 857 here under rig. I have to tell it where my cat cable is located. Uh, and that one is, um, let's see, this one right here, the FTDI, well, that just scrolled away on me. Um, the FTDI FT232R. Uh, that's my cable that I'm using for the 857, so I select it. I've got my baud rate set at 4800 on the radio, so I just uh, set that to match here. And uh, PTT, is, it says CAT, it really doesn't matter. Um, we can leave that alone. The signal link is going to take care of the PTT uh, and, and keying the radio when it's needed. And it's got the built-in Vox circuit, so we don't have to worry about that there. Uh, so that's kind of a quick look at how you would set it up. I'm not going to go through a full-blown tutorial, uh, but if you've got an 857, that should give you a head start. Other radios I'm not familiar with just because uh, the 857 is the only radio I own. But I did want to take a quick look at this today because, uh, like I said, I was really shocked that uh, that many number of people didn't realize uh, what FL Rig was or what you could do with it. Uh, but if you're going to work digital with a Raspberry Pi, the FL Rig is uh, a, a great option. Also, real quick, we'll take a look at one other thing. Uh, once you've got FL Rig configured and you're running something like JSA Call, let's go over to the settings here and I'm going to jump over to the radio. If you notice, I don't have my 857 set up here in JS8 Call. I've simply selected FL Rig as my radio. Uh, and then I left the PTT method as Vox, and that's it. So now what happens is JS8 Call sends those commands over to FL Rig, and FL Rig will do uh, will will change the radio. Uh, so if uh, we were inside of here and we wanted to click and go to 80 meters, you can see that I have changed here. And if we go back and look at FL Rig, we've also changed to, to uh, 80 meters here with FL Rig. So quick and convenient. Uh, I like it because you can kind of set up one application uh, and, and get everything working with the radio. And then a lot of the other applications like uh, JS8 Call, like FL Digi, all of those uh, have plugins. I believe even FT8 uh, uh, plugins, that's the wrong word. Uh, all of those have it so that you can select FL Rig as your radio inside of those when you're running rig control. So it can save you a bit of time setting up uh, each application. Uh, instead of having to go through and tinker with all of that, we can just send our command straight to FL Rig and let it take care of the radio control. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, that 27% will watch this and learn something through it. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.